Well, the place was ecstatic as the Highlanders had their best win of the year, really their best win in a couple of seasons. Let's be honest here. That's one of their better wins in Division One history of this program, beating a team that was uh, so much higher in the standings, so much higher in the rankings, et cetera, et cetera. But enough from me. Can't wait to hear from the head coach as our coach, Barry Slice-Worson, is joined by Grant Bill Meyer. Coach, what a night, what a game. Before the game, Matt and I spoke he said, what do you think about the matchup? I said, sometimes when you play the best, it brings out the best in you, and it looked like it brought out the best in your team tonight. Absolutely, Coach Slice. You know what? Uh, two games ago, we had a gutty come-from-behind win at UMBC. We were, we were playing great against Binghamton, and you know we lost Kel for the season, and I didn't really have enough time to really adjust on the fly. Um, you know, We took some much-needed time off. We got fresh, and then guys came out today, and they played absolutely great. Well, this was a signature win, okay? What's the message when you go into the locker room and you come back on the practice floor? We're not done. This, this wasn't a fluke. You know, we practice hard all the time. You know, unfortunately, we've had a lot of different injuries. And, um, but I told my team, let's be at our best in February and March. So uh, I'm glad we're starting to play our best basketball now. Well, nice job. Continued success. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Slice. Tariq, outstanding job tonight. You did it on both sides of the court, offensively, defensively. How do you feel with this win? I feel great, man. I feel like we're on the road to success, and we're going to build off of this game and go get the next one. You know, it has to be a little bit of a letdown when you lose a player, okay, not just for a game but for a season. And it really looked like you guys galvanized and rallied around the loss and said, hey, you know, we've got to all make up for this collectively. The team did a nice job. What do you say about your teammates? Man, we well, we keep working. We work every day in practice, and we came out here. We trusted each other. Everybody did their job, and we came out with the victory. I'm well, proud of us. Terrific job. Enjoy the game. Enjoy Thank the you. win. Thanks. Now back to Matt. Huge victory for the Highlanders. You heard from uh, both Grant Bill Meyer and Tariq Francis as the Highlanders get that amazing victory. Boy, that was, uh, it, it took 40 minutes of effort, and I don't want to understate that. The Highlanders have had some injuries. They might not have as many collective scorers on their team, obviously, as Vermont, but sometimes it's the heart, and tonight they had it no more than Tariq Francis, who had 31 points and a couple of huge free throws down the stretch, but even Makai Gray digging deep big as the Highlanders get really one of their biggest victories in a decade, I, you know, since the Michigan win, there haven't been quite as many lopsided, uh, let's just say, uh, predictions for a game where the Highlanders came in and got the victory, and it was much needed to get their second conference win, taking out the red-hot 8-0 Vermont Catamounts by the final score of 63-61 for the entire JHP crew. For my partner, the coach, Barry slice Warson. I'm Matt Province saying so long and farewell a final time from the Joel and Diane Bloom Wellness and Events Center on the campus of NJIT, where the Highlander is a huge upset victory, get their second win of the year at conference, knocking off Vermont by the final of 63-61. Continue to have an amazing Thursday night, everybody.